Welcome to Topular Facts. As we all know, South India is known for its rich history full of different cultures, religion and art. In this video, we will be looking at 10 powerful dynasties from South India who have had a lasting impact on all of these aspects of history. Number 1. Chola Dynasty Emerging during from 9th century, the Chola Dynasty was one of three main powers of Tamil Nadu and one of the oldest and longest ruling dynasties of the world. The empire was prominently located in Tamil Nadu including part of South Asia, South India, Sri Lanka and almost the world of Southeast Asia. The Chola Empire was known for its powerful military, navy expenditure and its art and architecture. This old society was not powerful as the Aztec and Incas. The most popularly known ruler of this dynasty, Raja Raja Chola I. His legacy is remembered in the cult classic Ponyan Selvan, meaning beloved son of Ponyan, a historical fiction adapted by Ramaswamy Krishnamurti, better known as Kalki, which inspired the modern box office hit film Ponyan Selvan I, marketed as PS1. He was born in Arulmuji Tevar and was later deemed as the king of kings for his wide extension of his empire, administrative prowess and architecture. He also built the Grace Bihadaswara Temple and Raja Rajeshwaram Temple in Thanjavur, the Chola capital. Important monument is the part of UNESCO World Heritage Site called Great Living Chola Temples. Number 2. Vijayanagar Empire this empire was founded in 1336 and lasted until 1646. This empire covered most of South India including the modern day Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Goa and some part of Telangana and Maharashtra and Odisha. Vijayanagar, meaning city of victory, became the greatest empire of South India by serving as the barrier from the northern Muslim Sultanate invasion. Art, architecture and literature thrived during this era so that peace and prosperity. Krishna Devraya born to Tulava Nasara Naika and Nagaladevi of Tulava dynasty went on to become the most powerful and celebrated king of the empire. Under his patronage, Hambi, one of the world's largest ancient city, prospered. His love of art, architecture and literature resulted in constructions of Krishna Swami Temple, Vithal Swami Temple and Hazara Rama Temple, whose ruin in 1986 were designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He also had eight eminent scholars in court known as Ast Diggaja, most popular of them being Tenali Rama, Alasani, Piddanna, and the others being Durjati, Pingali, Nandi Thimmana, Madhya Giri Mallana, and Ramaraja Bhushanandu. Number 3. Hoysala Dynasty Hoysala Dynasty ruled southern Deccan during the 10th to the 14th century, were the feudatories of Chalukyas of Kalyani. Their greatest ruler was the Bitti Deva, who, after coming under the influence of philosopher Ramanuja, converted to Hindu, Vaishnavism, and took the name Vishnu Vardhana, who, in the famous battle of Talakadu, defeated the Chola. Architecture, literature, and mathematician all the prospered under Vishnu Vardhana's design. To celebrate victory against the Chola, Vishnu Vardhana has the Kirti Narayana temple at Talakad. It is said that the epic poet Nagachandra wrote the earliest extant Ramayana in the Kannan language called Ramchandra Charitra Puran. Number 4. Pallava Dynasty this powerful dynasty ruled South India during 3rd century till the 9th century. This empire is mainly known for its contribution to the significant development of art and culture of South India. Their culture included large monolithic sculptures and magnificent rock cut temple. Their important ruler King Vishnu Gopa who was defeated and then liberated by King Samudragupta of Magadh. Some of their most popular architecture include Panch Pandava Cave, the largest attempted cave cut temple. A group of five cut-out Muthalik temple called Panch Pandavara Thas. Overall, they are the 15 cave cut temple. Ten monolithic temple are many other bas relief sculptures and structural temple. They earned a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Mahabalipuram. Number 5. Kakatiya Dynasty this dynasty, also called Ganpati dynasty, was an Andhra dynasty that ruled over part of South India between the 12th and 14th century. They are mainly known for being a major center of trade and commerce and also for their fortification, irrigation and patronage of arts. It was founded by Prataparudra I. Their most prominent king, Ganpati Deva, son of Mahadeva, brought most of Telugu-speaking region under his rise in modern-day Andhra Pradesh and Telangana by diplomacy. 
one of the best specimens of dynasty is the Ramappa temple or Rudheshwara temple dedicated to Lord Shiva which is located in Varangal. The world's most famous diamond, the Kohinoor diamond was first discovered and owned by the Kakatiya dynasty. The diamond has since found herself in the hands of multiple rulers across time and currently resides in the United Kingdom. Set in the crown of Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, the ownership dispute of diamond still continued to this date. Number 6 Satvahana Dynasty The Satvahana Dynasty was a powerful dynasty that ruled over part of South India from the 2nd century CE to the 3rd century CE. They were known for their patronage of Buddhism and their contribution to the development of Indian art and architecture. According to the ancient legendary writing of the Purans, this dynasty was owned by a family called Andhra Jati, meaning Andhra tribe. Early rulers such as Krishna, Simuka and Katrani I were Komi commemorated in cave inscription located in Nasik, Karli, Kanheri and Nanaghat. They held power distant western and central areas. Another prominent figure include Sri Ajna who defeated, who defeated the Kshatrapas. During this period, the Indo-Roman trade reached its peak, leading to materialistic prosperity. It's also known for its patronage in Buddhist and Brahmanical communities. Number 7. Rashtrakuta Dynasty this powerful dynasty regioned over South India during 8th century till the 10th century. This dynasty is known for its important role in the culture and political history of India. It is also known for its beautiful art and architecture. Krishna I built the rock temple of Kailasha at Ellora, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. Another king who reigned it from about 814 to 878 was the author of the number 8. The Pandyas The Pandyas were a powerful Tamil dynasty that reigned over the parts of South India from 3rd century. From 3rd century BCE to 14th century BCE, this dynasty is known for its significant role in the culture and economic development in South India. Their existence was mentioned by the Greeks and Romans in the 4th century. The Pandya kings were called either Jatavarma or Maravarma. They later converted to Shivas from Jains. The five Pandyas flourished and eventually assumed control of all the plains of the extreme south as far north as Nellore. These kings were celebrated in some of the oldest known Tamil poetry. Their influence eventually weakened due to family quarrels and Muslim invasions. Number 9. Chalukya Dynasty this dynasty remained in power in South India between the 6th and 12th century. They have spectacular art and architectures and pioneered modern South India art style. For the first time in history, a South India kingdom took control and consolidated the entire region between the Kaveri and Narmada river, shifting the political atmosphere in South India from smaller kingdom to large empire. With the rise of Badami Chalukyas, the 11th century saw the birth of Telugu literature under the patronage of Eastern Chalukyas. Their most famous king stand to be Pulakeshin II, whose reign was so powerful. He was known as the Lord of South India. He was known for defeating the most powerful northern king, Samrat Harsvardhana, known as the Lord of North India and protecting the south. His administration and governance impressed the Chinese traveler Huyin Sang, leading to the trading of ambassador with Persia. In the court of famous Vikramadit VI of the Western Chalukya dynasty of Kalyan, Recites the quality famous poet Vidyapati Belhana, who writes about the Chalukyas legend Vikrama Deva Charitra, who was created by Lord Brahma under the order of Lord Indra himself to put an end to the godlessness in the wicked world. Number 10. Maratha Empire This devastatingly powerful early modern empire spread across most of the country and were rightfully known for their military strength and prowess. They brought an enormous role in the culture and political history of India. They have birthed a long list of extremely successful rulers. The Chhatrapatis include Sevaji, Sambhaji, Rajaram, Shahu, Pratap Singh, and Sahaji. Some famous early Peshwas including Bazirao I who was acknowledged as the most influential of the nine Peshwas and Nana Sahib who was a prominent leader during the Indian uprising of 1875 against the rule of British East India Company, a sovereign power on behalf of the British crown. That marks the end of this list of the most powerful South Indian powers. They each have played a crucial role in the history of India and have left a lasting impact 
on the modern world through their conquests. If you find this information educational and helpful, consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell for update on future videos that will be equally informative. Thanks for watching.